Today we're going to work on some problems where we're trying to find the missing factor. When you have a multiplication problem, the two numbers that you are multiplying together are called the factors. The answer is called the product. Usually in a multiplication fact, you know the two factors and you're trying to find the product. Occasionally, though, one of the factors is missing. In that case, what you have a couple of different strategies that you can use to try to figure out what is that missing factor to get you to the product that they have listed. Our first strategy is to count by the factor that you do know. So in this problem, the factor that I do know is 3. This is a great strategy if you know your multiplication songs. So with my 3 song, that would be like Jingle Bells. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and you're done. What I would do is I would sing that song in my head, counting how many times I count up until I get up to 24. So for example, 3, 6, 9, I'd be on my third finger. So if my product was 9, I would know that 3 times 3 equals 9. If it was 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 15 was the number I was looking for, I would have counted three numbers, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So my missing factor would be 5. Let's go ahead and see what it is if I'm trying to get up to 24. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 24. I'm at my product, what I want to go. I ended up with eight numbers that I had to count through, so my missing factor here is going to be eight. I know that three times eight is going to equal 24. It's the same, but now this time I'm going to be counting by seven. With the seven song, that is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, we're having fun. Thirty-five and forty-two. 49, we're almost through, 56 and 63, that is all there will ever be. All I need to do is count up to when I get to 35. Again, each number that I say is going to give me another finger. So, 7, 14, 21, 28, we're having fun, 35. I'm at the product that I want. I had five numbers that I went through, 7, 14, 21, 28, and finally 35. So that was five factors that I had to go through. So my missing number would be five here. I could check it then by counting by fives and see if I get up to 35. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Sure enough, if I have seven fives, I get up to 35. So your first strategy is to count by the factor that you do know, counting by threes in this case, or counting by sevens. Another strategy that you could use would be to draw a picture. I know that in the end, I want to have 30 total tallies, and they can be divided up into six groups. So if I go ahead and start by drawing six circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, I would just need to take my 30, my total product, and share it in those six circles. In the end, each circle should have the same amount in it, and that would be my missing factor. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I got to my product of 30, and each circle has 5 tallies in it. So I know that 6 times 5 is going to equal 30. I could do the same thing here. I know that with multiplication, it's adding the same number over and over and over again. So if I take a number and add it together 8 times, I'm going to end up with 32. So I can start by drawing those 8 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because that's the factor that I do know, and I want to take my 32 tallies and share them equally in these 8 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I ended up with my product of 32. I can see that each circle clearly has four tallies in it. So 8 times 4 is going to equal 32. So if you remember, there's two different strategies. If you know the factors, you can just count them off in your head or sing the song. Otherwise, if you're not sure of the song or you're not confident in your ability to skip count by that factor, you can always draw the picture. The factor that you do know is how many circles you draw, and then you just share tallies until you get up to that product, until you get to that big number. Here are some examples for you to try for yourself. Go ahead and write them out on your whiteboard, and then you can check them with the calculator and prove to your teacher that you have mastered this skill. Go ahead and hit pause now so that the screen doesn't disappear, and then you can close it as soon as you have everything copied and can solve it from there.